some long lines like you have probably in years past. That's because a lot of people have already voted by mail-in ballot. Nineties reporter Colleen Furrer joins us from the Denver Elections Office. And Colleen, what kind of activity are you seeing there this morning so far? Good morning, Corey. Definitely no lines over here. We're not really waiting in line too much, uh, but we are seeing a lot of people coming here to vote or either to register to vote. And, uh, you know, a lot of the counties were saying that they received those ballots by mail, but they are expecting people um, in and out of these voting and uh, service in the polling centers today. As, of course, it's election day, and some people like the tradition of voting in person. We're with Alton Dillard uh, with uh, the Denver Elections Division. And, uh, Alton, I know, uh, you know, we have seen some people coming in here. We have seen the numbers so far of voter turnout out. Tell me why we can't compare this year to any other election we've had in our state. Okay, Colleen, this is the first election that we've had as a general election where ballots are mailed to active registered voters. So there have been other elections before where mail ballots have been available, but this is the first time that they go to all active registered. So this is the first of its type election. How is this changing the way we vote? One of the things it's doing is taking the confusion out of it. In the past, you used to have elections where you'd have to go to a polling place, or if you wanted a mail ballot, you had to request one. Or sometimes they were automatically sent to you, and other times they weren't. And it was just causing a lot of confusion. Now we have a uniform model statewide, and the voters know what to expect by the time it gets to be election day. Well, thanks for being with us this morning. I know that you have a very long day ahead of you here at the headquarters. Uh, we do know 7 a.m. the polls open till 7 p.m. tonight. Get that ballot into your county clerk by 7 o'clock tonight. You know, first election where you can actually register also the same day that you vote through election day. So we know here in Denver people are taking advantage of last minute registration. In the past week, 3,000 people, Cheryl, new people, have registered to vote in the Denver County area. So people are coming in and they're going to be coming in today and I expect this place to get a whole lot more crowded as the day goes on. It is always about the turnout, right, Colleen? Thanks a lot. 8.04 now. There is a strong possibility that neither the Republicans 